Yeah, what's up? It's your boy Brent C. I just wanted to do a quick video about how if you don't have to get deep into the game, don't do it. You know, I've been saying this, so I've said this in a previous video, and y'all know I'm not on no contradicting shit. Um, I have said before uh, that I believe a man being a player could definitely help him because we as men have to develop ourselves up until our best to our best versions. Because women ultimately pick uh, the man. Women pick everything. They pick men they want to have sex with. They got to agree to the marriage. I mean, all that type of stuff. So they 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 got all the pick. They got all the choices and options. Whereas men, we have to build ourselves up to where we have those same options. Women get it naturally just because they got, you know, pussy. So and looks and they pretty and all of that type of stuff. So. And, and this is generally speaking I mean it's outliers It's men who get hella options and all of that But guys at the end of the day What I'm saying to you is If you find a chick Let's say you only got mm, Three four bodies under your belt And the fourth girl Or fourth or fifth girl you hit You have sex with um, It's fireworks You like man this is it Like this chick looks good enough for me The sex is bomb Um everything is good you know we 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 match intellectually like i can see her having my kids i feel like she's she she's a lot like she respects me she she listens to me she supports me you know doesn't hold sex like that not disrespectful i mean and like i always say all women gonna have their bullshit you just gotta find the one for you that has the least amount guys Everybody's gonna come with their bullshit, men and women. Like, even for the women listening, I know all of us men gonna come with our certain amount of bullshit. You have to choose the man or be with the man who you can tolerate. That's just what it is. I mean, it's hard. It's hard being with one person forever. It is. That's that's like the hardest shit ever. I don't care how much you love or infatuate or lust this person. When you limit it down to just one person and you have no other options, it gets hard. It gets tough. I'm speaking from experience, guys. But when this person does everything you need them to do, and it's a big burden to expect one person to fulfill your all every needs. It, that's, that's a lot to ask of from a woman or a man. But I feel like men can meet it a lot easier because women, I mean, what you need? Orgasm, guys, orgasm and attention. I feel like it's a lot easier for a man to get, you know, provide for a woman, you know, give her orgasms, guide her and all that type of stuff than it is for a woman to just get a man's rocks off all the time. I mean, and I, I've seen it done, guys. I've seen it like with my own eyes. I've, I've seen that relationship be done. I've seen a woman handle a man sexually, but she wasn't handling him mentally and emotionally like she it was just sex and she still was cheating on him and all of that like the dynamics was way off you know he wasn't doing what he was supposed to be doing as a man as far as like working and providing and all of that and then she she was taking on the masculine role which caused her to get into to start doing more masculine things like you know having side niggas and all that so at the end of the day guys like if you could find one chick and she she really knocks your socks off or or she chose you and you like you know what i could really do this she meets she checks off enough boxes or she fills up enough glasses like i always say you know it's like pouring water into uh, into a glass you know if she could get up to like that 70 percent mark on each one out of five glasses let's say it's five things you need out of a woman or four things whatever it is for you personally if she can get to 70%, you in the game, bro. Go ahead and lock it down. It ain't even no point of getting out here and getting so deep into the game like I have and other people I know. Because then at, that, at a certain point, guys, you get burnt out. You get burnt out. Anybody that tells you otherwise is a fucking lie. They gonna say, oh, I ain't never get tired, man. That's bullshit. All men get tired of the revolving door. Eventually, they do. 
If you getting enough ass, you gonna get tired of that shit. Especially if you getting it fast. It might take you years and years, but eventually you gonna be like, you know what, I want something real. Even if it's like, you know what, I lock down with this one girl I like, and I still might occasionally have one other chick. Or I might settle down with these two chicks. Or settle down with these three chicks. But you're not going to want to keep having brand new, brand new, brand new, brand Everybody has, everybody is going to form an attachment to somebody in their life at some point. That's facts. Whether you're young, whether it happens older, whether it, it don't matter what kind of, it could be a sexual attachment. But everybody's going to have an attachment to somebody. Because in human nature, that's how it's supposed to be. I mean, you're going to be bonding at some point. You are. It happens in nature, and it's going to happen with us. Because we are nature. We are part of nature. So, it's a reason why love exists and feelings like that exist. It just is what it is. So, guys, I would say don't get too deep into the game if you don't have to. 